Okay, so I just finished scoring chapters one and two, your essay discussion post. So I wanna address some things about that. Uh, the first uh, discussion post asked you those five functions of government that are so important, really they're recited in the preamble. Um, promote the common defense, secure the blessings of liberty, promote the general welfare, uh, those type of things. Some of your responses, just too brief, you didn't cover each of them individually. Some of you were too general, you didn't make specific things and specific references to those. So you wanna make sure that you carefully put those in paragraphs, each one of those, and then give it a specific uh, current example of those. Uh, I have uh, a model answer that a student share, uh, shared uh, that a student did very well on for you to compare to your answer as well. So I encourage you to take a look at that. It's right below this video link that you clicked on to watch this video. And there's one also for the uh, second chapter as well. Part two of the first question asked because there's so much distrust in government and cynicism of government and why that distrust is um, dangerous for democracy because democracy does require trust. So here's the problem that I encountered uh, several times and I'm gonna be accused of biased because I scored down when students had asserted things that are simply not true. Chief among those was that the election was stolen. Um, if, if you're going to make an assertion, you need to cite credible evidence. One student had cited this website, for example. Most students didn't cite anything when they made that assertion. But this website, um, if you can see it there, exclusive 300,000 Biden votes, dumps late. Uh, it's from something called the Gateway Pundit. And if you scroll down, um, first you can see some really cheesy ads on one side. And as you scroll further down, um, it's really sensationalistic. Um, there's an ad, if you see there, this ought to amuse some of you, urologist, plenty of men uh, with an enlarged prostate. Okay, yeah, uh, that's a pretty good indication these are not credible websites when you have advertisers. I mean, it reminds me of Alex Jones and him peddling his stuff, if you know who that is. And he made millions of dollars peddling stuff like that while promoting conspiracy theories. We're going to have a whole chapter on the media. And, and the problem, and, and the question was about trust. And the problem is that millions of Americans, including some of the students of the class, are buying into these falsehoods and believe the election was stolen. And when you believe that, well, why not go to the Capitol and, and, and stage an insurrection and stop the peaceful transfer of power? That is the very danger of democracy. And we're facing another election in 2024 where there's a real possibility of something similar to that happening again. Uh, because, because quite frankly, Trump continues to make the false assertion that the election was stolen. And, um, and, and, and now, of course, he's been indicted for it. Um, not for making that assertion, but for the actions he took. And whether he's found guilty of that is up, up for a jury. So, yeah, uh, you cannot claim things that just are not true. This class is not social media, it's not Facebook. Um, the second one, uh, oh, and, and don't go off on rants. I got some students go off on rants and they start talking about, you know, Trump's orange hair or Biden is so old he can't remember his wife's name. And those aren't gonna score well either. They're personal attacks. And if we're gonna have a civil discourse, they just don't have place in civil society. So, um, and, and you gotta stay focused on what the question is that I ask. The second chapter focused on the separation of powers and whether one branch was too powerful. Um, again, most of you were scored down and may not have gotten an A because you just didn't have enough information. You didn't cite a specific example or things like that. Um, 
uh, others I noticed some people again we go back to this and uh, they said that the judicial branch is targeting uh, Trump because of the indictments which is a of course a very hot topic right now for one thing and I didn't even mention this in the responses that's not actually the judicial branch it's the Justice Department and the Justice Department's not part of the judicial branch, it's part of the, the executive branch, which is why that Jack Smith is a special counsel because he's meant to not be tied to the Attorney General. But naturally there's gonna be conspiracy theories that are gonna say that he is and that it's all politically motivated. And I, I don't doubt that, 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 that that's going to be said, but on the other side, you know, there's gonna be people that say, if you do not, indict the president and he has committed a crime we talk about the classified records we talk about the insurrection um or if we want to talk about paying off porn stars and things like that uh then you're letting him break the law and then people are above the law so that becomes problematic as well and so uh it this this is yet to play out as well Regardless, as part of that chapter two, I also had extra credit. And very few students did the extra credit. It's just five points, but that actually is 25% of your grade uh, or 20%. Uh, so um, that's a lot of points. And uh, those students that did it, I gave them the full five points and it really helped them. So I wouldn't just you know dismiss the extra credit. Those things can help you. Um, but definitely you wanna to stick to facts. If you're gonna make assertions, you need to uh, back those things up with citations that I can find, and they need to be reliable sources. And reliable sources, for some people, it's what they call the lamestream media. Those are the reliable sources. Uh, most newspapers, most major media outlets are, are pretty reliable. I stick a lot to PBS and NPR but I also uh, read the New York Times and the Washington Post um, because um, not their opinion page, I'm talking about their reporting is, is pretty objective. So um, we're gonna have a whole chapter about that, but uh, that's the gist of it. Be sure to look at the examples to kind of see what I'm looking for. And if you have questions, uh, please feel free to email me. I'll, I'll respond and, and, and do what I can. Uh, to try to ease your concerns. Um, if you're still concerned and you want to send me a rough draft, I'm happy to look at that as well. And I'll let you know if I think that there's things that just are not factual in there that I would count off for before you turn it in. So, all right. Well, thanks and uh, good luck on the next week's assignment.